All right, my friends, Dan Rizak here. Um, and today I'm going to show you five awesome things, five awesome features of Gmail that just make it super efficient. Uh, we're going to just overview of uh, Hangouts, your custom inbox, how to undo send. I'll show you how to do multiple accounts, and there's a cool task feature as well. So here is my mail, and I'm going to start over here. Uh, at the gear just to kind of help you uh, set up um, how to configure your inbox. If you're using, uh, if you use Gmail, um, there is a little option here to configure your inbox so that you can create tabbed emails. And believe it or not, this actually does really increase productivity and efficiency. Uh, it puts uh, all of your social stuff in one place anything that might be considered kind of a promotional Amazon stuff or whatever will go here. Um, any updates to websites or blogs or stuff that you might see here or uh, calendar things and then your primary inbox. And just keep in mind you can change any of these just by, uh, you know, if you decide you this should be over in primary, you just move it over to primary. Uh, and there you go. But if you don't have that set up, you got to go over here to configure inbox. Uh, here's where you can decide what your uh, tabs are. And I usually keep four tabs, updates, promotions, social, and primary. Um, I guess there's one for forums too, but I don't subscribe to a lot of those. Uh, and I'll just go ahead and save those. So it may be, it may ask you to, you know, to configure, after you configure that, it'll introduce you to your new inbox or whatever. But, uh, but again, you know, the biggest feature of this is, um, you know, if you do see something that you think should uh, go into primary or you think that's very important, just click and drag it over, and now you've got those in the right spot. Um, <clears throat> the next thing is, um, uh, is undo send and multiple accounts. I'm going to get to Hangouts last, actually. So... In this lab feature, uh, I'm going to go to my settings over here. There's a really important feature that you should go to, and it's over here in labs, and it's called undo send. Uh, the reason this is so awesome, and it should say enable, you should enable it, is because it gives you about a window of about 20 to 30 seconds to undo an email that you've sent. And I can't tell you how often this comes in handy when you've realized, oops, I accidentally replied all on that email. Uh, and uh, that's frustrating. But once you add the lab in the middle of your general settings, you'll see uh, enable undo send, and then it'll tell you what's the cancellation period. Uh, and I have mine on for 20 seconds, because that's usually a pretty good amount of time. Uh, when you go ahead and hit compose, and you send an email, when you hit send, it's going to say your message has been sent. Undo or view message. So you have about that 20 seconds right there to, to undo it. I could hit undo. It pops back up and I'm good to go. Um, if you hit send and then hit view message, it's going to send right away and you're not going to get it back. So um, that's another great, great, great feature. The, uh, the third thing is the ability to have multiple accounts. Now, um, Many of us have multiple Gmail accounts or multi, you know, we have a home account. We don't want to mix this up with our personal or with our school account. And so if, I, if you look up here, you see that I have four different accounts uh, for Gmail, four different users. And what that means is that I can basically switch to another user. This would be my home user right here. And everything I set under this user for my, for my home user stays with that user. So it, all the custom settings for my browser, my, you can see my toolbar is different, everything is, is different. Um, and so you can customize things based on you know, the different users that you have. And so there may, you know, I may have things on my home uh, Chrome that I don't want on my school Chrome. And so that's important. I also don't want to send email, uh, you know, my home email from my school account anyway. So to do that, uh, to set up a different user, you can go to settings. And then when you scroll down, there's different user. You can add a new user. Uh, and then you can, each user can have 
you know, different bookmarks and settings. And um, I'm not going to go through all of that addition of a new user, but basically there you go. And then when you create that new user, it'll ask you to sign in with, with whatever that account is, and you will be uh, you will be good to go. Uh, the last couple things here is uh, well, let me let me end with Hangouts and chat because this little thing right over here, I would say, is probably the most important part of Gmail. And the reason I ask people, you know, if they're using a client-based email system like Outlook or Apple Mail, I say, really, you need to use the web version of the mail. And the reason is, is because if you ever need help from the tech team, you ever need help from somebody, this is the way to get a hold of me. And this is the way to connect everybody in the school. Gchat, Google Chat, or Hangouts, or whatever. Everyone has a different name for it. Um, now they've integrated it really nicely to the fact that when you start a chat, you can go immediately to a video chat and make it a video call. You can do group Hangouts. Um, and it's if I did a video chat, say, with Vinny, I could even control his screen and uh, if I needed to help him through something. So Hangouts right here is a really, really helpful, uh, helpful thing to have. Um, where did that go? There it is. So he's going to be really annoyed that I just called him. But, um, so Hangouts, big, 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 big feature of, uh, of Gmail. And the last thing I'm going to do this separately is tasks. There's a, a whole big task tool that's really awesome um, that is in your uh, uh, Gmail right over here. And there's a couple different ways to do it, but uh, if you want to help manage your uh, productivity, that's one way to do it. So we'll talk about that in another video. All right, my friends? Um, go for it, and good luck.